Hey guys, welcome back. It's Waddleway876 here. Today, I come to you with one core request. Join the Discord shown in front of you. I'll get to why you need to in a bit. But you guys wanted a giveaway for the longest time. And I gave you one a couple weeks ago. And you actually liked it. But now there's a new thing that a lot of people have trouble getting. And that's the Dragon Harpoon. You can only get one every time you fight the boss. I think it's every time you fight the boss. Maybe not, only once. And a lot of you guys probably want this. So, I'll gift it to someone. One person who chats the most in my Discord channels, Discord server, gets this. Five Dragon Harpoons, all to themselves. Now, how to enter is you just Join the Discord, the link is in the description. Um, Wado's gaining hideout. You'll know it when you see it. All you gotta do is react to a message, like like the react to a message, do all that stuff. And once a winner is chosen, I'll ask for your Roblox name and I'll give it to you. Um, now the rules are really simple. All you have to do is be the, the most talkative. Don't spam, because that will get you nowhere. You'll banned and executed from, not executed, but like, removed from the competition. Um, but, you have a very high chance to win this, because not many people chat in my Discord at all. So, I haven't reset the statistics yet, but at, by the time, at the time you're watching this video, I have just reset it right now at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is right when this video releases. So get there quick and start chatting as much as you can. Um, but make sure you don't spam, you follow the rules and all that stuff. So yeah, I, I wish you the best of luck. Now, since this video can't only be two minutes long, I think I'll show you some other stuff. And no, I'm not gonna fight the boss another time. I think I'm going to show you what's in store for the escape room version two. Uh, I forgot that I can actually do instant load. Instant load. So Escape Room version 2 is something I've been developing for quite a bit, and I haven't actually worked on it for a while because of um, Halloween. But I think I've showed this once or twice, I may even have made a video on it. But this is Escape Room version 2. It looks pretty nice, I made it nicer um, than the other ones. And it, it actually looks, I made it decent. Um, so yeah. There is a ton of pumpkins here, which I have to add to because I forgot this update's added. Um, you can actually do that. And I can Halloween theme it immediately by just doing this. Boom. There you go. It has not the most amount of foliage and stuff around it, but that'll change after uh, I get a lot more uh, trees. As you can see, I can now do this a lot more. You probably remember my last escape room and I showed it off and how it worked and all that stuff. Um, and I like the outdoor part, some of the most. So I think I will sh like uh, decorate the outdoors again. This time I am not going to like make it like, how do I put it, a box around it. Um, instead I'm just going to make it nice and natural and you'll see what I mean. Um, so yeah, you just go up here and you go back up here higher. Yeah, all that stuff, pretty cool. Um, I want to get to this video to like eight minutes. Um, you know, I don't have to. I don't have to. It's just help to my channel to talk. So, um, you know, I'm I guess what's next in stock for doing random things to make the video a little longer. I'm going to admit, just you don't, you shouldn't be watching right now because the point of the video is already gone. I'm not. It, it's completely random at this point what I'm doing. Um, but. You know, I guess there is stuff I can do, and is look at the Hall of Fame, the good old Hall of Fame. Something we do every single time we have no other content to make, um, we, we go to the Hall of Fame. So, I mean, can't blame me, it's a pretty good, pretty, pretty good way of getting content. Okay, so here's our first person, um, who made Heartland 2 by Ferdinand. Um, it looks really nice. Uh, it reminds me of a build I reviewed. Here, I may need to move that down. A build I reviewed um, a while, not that long ago, but it got a lot of views. You guys liked it. 
So I'll see if I can contact the person who made this. Maybe, just maybe, I'll get a video on it. Um, here's some other pictures of it. I think it looks really neat. Um, gotta say, the indoors you see is very detailed, like the other one we reviewed. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So the next one is the Santa Fe Super Q 347 by Skullcap825. Um, and as you can see, it's very neat, nice. Um, this is Santa FC. I don't know if it's supposed to be Santa Fe. Um, but it looks really nice. You can even see it did a circle, like a curve, which is very hard to do in Double Boat. Um, and some other stuff. So you can see how detailed it is. Um, it's not like the Polar Express type of train, but it is a really nice, like, uh, cargo train. I think it's a cargo train. I think it's what it's called. No, it's a chief. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm not a train person. If you're a train person, tell me what this is. Maybe it's a super chief. Maybe that's what it's called. But it's probably, I don't know. Um, the Halo from Starship um, is a, another, is a ship that goes in space. I, I don't know. I never played Halo. Um, or Starship. I don't know if those are two different things. Who cares? Um, I'm not smart. I'm going to stop before I get too many people annoyed. Here we have the Boeing 737 MAX 8, um, which has a very detailed look, um, which is a plane, and it has little TVs on the back of the seats. It has head, I, this is a plane I'd like to fly on. It has two seats per like row. That, that's amazing, you never see that. You never ever see that. It's always like three. <laughs> this is a pretty nice plane, I assume. Here we have Uru by Muzz. Um, nothing about this screams Uru, but okay. Um, it's a really nice build. <laughs> I was joking about it, um, but it is a really nice build. It's another train. Um, this week we're getting a lot of trains, um, even though this is around seven days ago. I don't know. Yeah, this was seven days ago. Um, now we have the Petridge Mark eight light tank um no that was five set seven that's seven i can't count to seven today um this is a really nice build i can see the amount of detail and like structure in it um they use the pumpkins i don't know how they got that gradient background effect um because i've never seen it in build about maybe this wasn't made in build about maybe it was made differently maybe they made the custom background maybe they made it a green screen I don't know, we'll never find out, but it looks insanely cool. Um, you can see the like the detail in it. Uh, I say detail a lot, but it's a lot of detail. Uh, this is a really nice tank. Not gonna lie, it, it looks amazing. Um, here we have the Mercedes-Benz Type 770. Um, I don't know what type era thing this is, but it looks cool. Uh, I don't know what flags those are. And I'm not going to pretend I do, so yeah, it reminds me of the German flag. Yeah, it reminds me of this a sideways German flag, honestly, um, with the centerpiece sideways. Um, so yeah, that's, that's cool. Um, here we have the World War II IGN utility boat by, I, can't, I won't pronounce the name, but it looks really cool. Um, World War II is a interesting like era for a lot of locomotives and like planes and all that stuff. Um, here we have the MSRC meeting room by Dragon Wings. I don't know what the MRSC is, but it looks really neat. Um, I was about to say, I thought they made this on mobile. Wait a second, did they make this on mobile? No, they didn't make this on mobile. But yeah, it's really detailed. Um, oh, look at the ground. Did they make that ground? Oh wow, they did. That looks like it was a lot of work. Um, here we have the Dozer by TC Adi. Uh, simple build, pretty cool, like it, 10 out of 10. Here we have the Cruiser MK4. See, I got it pretty quickly that time. Um, just seven, I can't get the right. Uh, so yeah, another tank, really detailed, like it. I really like it. Yeah, um, now we have the Steampunk Jeep, something I'd never think I'd hear together, but it works so well. 
Um, you can see the steampunk aspect, you can see the jeep aspect, and they come together really nice. Uh, yeah. yeah. The F35 Chinese off-brand <laughs> by 3.8 for real CS OG. Um, and that is a really nice build, which looks really nice. I just said nice twice. We have the Cha-Cha Smooth Ship by Trander 2. Takamu is greater than Chika in Skull Capping 2.5. Which is a nice big ship that... Oh wait, I thought those were... Okay, never mind. Um, sorry, I, I saw the purple uh, houses and I was like, what are those? No, they're just the uh, buildings. So yeah, that is a really nice ship. We have the 1969 um, Corvette Stingray. I think this is a really cool build. Um, i never seen it. I'm not going to put an image up on screen because I'm lazy. Or I will. I'll put one up right here. See? Look happy. Um, but that looks really cool. We have the Toyota Supra, which is a, looks like a more compact car, but it looks really stylish. I like it. Um, we have the cookie car, very simple, made with the cookie wheels. Um, cookie car, solid 10 out of 10, because it's cookie, the cookie monster would be happy. Now we have the Kuin Sea Egg. I don't know what that is, but it looks really nice. Another sports car, it seems to be. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but it's a sports car, I think, by Dead Star. Um, now we have a semi-truck, like the one in... Transformers. I know I mentioned Transformers before. Um, I think it looks really cool. A lot of detail put into it. Here we have the Steampunk Spider by Disney. Um, and this does look like a Steampunk Spider with the steam hydraulics and stuff like that. So, yeah. I mean, you, you did it. You, you got the nail on the head. For steampunk and Spider. <laughs> Here we got Half-Life. Wait, Half-Life 2 Buffet Train Station. I've never played Half-Life 2, but that looks really cool, and it looks like a faithful recreation, and it seems this person has made it on mobile, which is crazy. I don't know if they made it all on computer and then took the picture on mobile, but still, amazing. Um, here we have the Build-A-Boat Rocket League, which is really cool. Um, <laughs> obviously not Rocket League and Build-A-Boat, but it seems like they made a faithful recreation for it. And we have the Norfolk Southern by Skullcap85. We see their name a lot. Um, I think they are the one that made a lot of the other trains. It seems this one is extended from outside to outside of the build plot. And you can see the amount of detail in the grass and such. And I think that's amazing. I think that's amazing. And oh dear, Dragon Wings comes in again with a sky tower that has insane amount of details on the outside. And it seems like it just keeps going up and up. I think it's amazing. That's really cool. Um, so, wow. Yeah, damn. GG. <laughs> Good way to end that list off. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you like this, please consider liking. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Join the Discord. Um, I want you to, to talk. It helps my Discord and it'll get you a nice little uh, five harpoons. And I, I know that all you guys want that. You can see it's for free. It's completely free. You don't have to pay for it. It's not like you're like forced to pay money for it. No, it's free. Completely free. Because that's why it's a giveaway. So yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye.